Hi everyone, I'm excited to be delivering my very first uh, Periscope for the Concierge Society. Um, sorry, I'm wobbling this around as I get my hands comfortable. Um, welcome to anyone who's jumped on board. Please say hi and introduce my, yourself to me. Happy to answer any questions um, that you might have today. But I do have a particular question from one of our um, Concierge Society Facebook members. And it was a great question and I have promised to answer this um, for a few weeks now and I'm finally getting the opportunity to jump on here and give my answer. But the question Donna had was is that she had someone that that she had met through through her work he was actually a supplier who was really interested in her business and got very excited about what she was doing and, and very keen to start using her and I, I I can certainly relate and I wonder if many of you can also relate to the fact that people get very excited about what a concierge is and the potential that we can give them um, to save time in their life. The problem Donna's found is that she has remained in touch. She has um, added him to her newsletter list. She's run into him a number of times, um, but nothing else has happened. It's all kind of gone quiet. I'm picturing... Um, crickets chirping for her. He's had polite conversation but nothing has come of it and she's asked me should she give up? That's her big question. Should she just give up? Um, I'm picturing her with her hands thrown in the air going what more can I do? And my first point for Donna is to say don't give up. That doesn't mean become a pest. Um, that's what Donna was worried about is becoming a pest to her clients. But there's two things. First of all, most of my clients have taken quite a while to come on board um, with us and they have had to think about it and had to be in the right space. So one of our very early clients who we've had now for years and years told me after she'd booked me that she had my flyer on her fridge for three months. She'd seen me at a networking event where I spoke very briefly. She didn't come and introduce herself. She took one of my flyers, put it on the fridge and then when she was finally, she'd had enough of her um, current situation, she wanted us to do grocery shopping for her. She'd had enough of her situation, so she um, rang me. Or actually, I think she just emailed me, said, I want to book you this week to do grocery shopping, and I want you to do the grocery shopping for me every week from now on. We didn't meet. We didn't have a detailed phone conversation. She just got to the point where she was ready. And lots of our clients are like that. They've known about us for a long time. They've met us at networking and they're almost jumping out of their skin with excitement. But there's a lot of other things going on in people's minds when they're trying to decide whether to use a personal concierge. Um, do they have enough money? Is it going to be too expensive? Lots of things around guilt. Shouldn't I be doing this? Shouldn't I have time? If I was only better organized, shouldn't I have time to do this? Um, no, um, it's just not right for me. I can't warrant it at the moment. It's too hard to delegate all my tasks. It's just easier if I do it myself. So for those of you who have just joined us, please say hi. And um, just to reiterate that I'm answering a question for Donna about a prospective client she's been um, in touch with who had previously shown great enthusiasm. Um, she's kept in touch with them, but they haven't um, decided to go ahead and book her. And so I'm saying don't give up. It takes people a lot of time. The other point I wanted to offer Donna was, have you actually gone out and asked him again, are you interested in our service? Do you want to start trying or are you being overly polite? Um, from what I'd heard from Donna or what I understood in her email, she'd run into this person a lot of times, but it had just been general chit chat. And that's great and it's important to get to know them and make them feel comfortable with you but have you actually asked them would you like to book in a time to meet to discuss how we could help you would you like to um, trial our service in some way um, do you have any more specific questions would you like to fill in one of our questionnaires to see if i can help you etc etc have you actually asked them the question or have you just been a little bit hesitant in doing it so um my main thing is don't um, don't give up, but don't um, don't get completely focused on this as a prospective client. 
keep them on your mailing list. Um, if you find something that might be of interest to them, if they've been a supplier of yours, you'll probably have an understanding of things that they might be interested in. Shoot through an email saying, hi, I just thought this might be something you'd be interested in. Here's an article I read or here's an event I'm going to. Would you um, be interested in coming along to this networking event as well? And is there a way that you can use them as a supplier in the future if that's of relevance to them? So keep in touch. But um, just understand that it takes people a while and so continuing to keep in touch is a really important thing as a personal concierge, making sure that people know that when something goes wrong, because often that's when people go, that's it, I've had enough, I need to do something, something needs to change, they immediately think of you. So keeping in touch with your newsletter, keeping in touch on the email talking to them if you run into them at events and using your Facebook and your social media and everything that you can. Keep doing that so that when the time is right, you are the person that they think of, they understand you, they trust you, and they're ready to take action. And I can't say how long that might be, but just know that you, you're never giving up. You just don't need to force the point um, in an overly aggressive and assertive way. Bearing that in mind, if you haven't actually asked the question, do you want to meet to talk further? Do you want to progress this? Go and do that now. That's just as important. So I hope that's been helpful, Donna, and to everyone listening and watching. I'm going to try and answer questions for people in the future. So if you have anything that is um, of interest to you, you've got a burning question, and I think that it might be of interest to everyone else out there running personal concierge businesses, then please pop it on our either, we've got a private Facebook group. If you haven't joined the private personal concierge um, Facebook group, it's um, look up the Concierge Society. We have a Facebook page and a private Facebook group. Our website's currently under maintenance at the moment, so um, check back there in a few days. We're just um, revamping and upgrading what we're doing on the website and changing a few things so that we can better offer um, some um, new options for our members. Um, but jump on the Facebook group, post your question, or you can send me an email as well, um, which is now abby at theconciergesociety.com. Abby is A-double-B-I-E. Love to hear from you. Love to answer any questions you might have. And I'm wishing you all a great day. I have Today, I have um, just delivered some um, curtain blind fabric samples to a client. And I just before I started here, I rang her and she's very excited. She can't wait to get home and have a look at these samples and decide what what type of fabric she wants for her curtains. It's been a bit of a long drawn out process. She's doing a lot of renovating so she's pretty excited to get those on and um, and see what that's like. And I have also gone and set up a conference center and I've got a networking event on um, later this evening. So I'm here. Um, it's um, in Adelaide in Australia and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon here. So I've got a networking event this evening. Um, hoping that will be a great one because it's exactly my target market, busy professional women. So I'm looking forward to that. And plus there's drinks and wine involved. So that should be fantastic. So hi to everyone watching. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'll try and jump on here as often as I can, answering any questions or just letting you know what's going on in my world being a personal concierge. So thanks everyone and bye.